Let's take a look at challenge 40, our final challenge. So, count with I from one to, let's see. So first, let's look at our move. The beaver is going to move one, and the beaver is going to move one, two, then the beaver is going to move one, two, three. So that's going to change. When the beaver drops, he's going to drop one, then he's going to drop two, then he's going to drop three. So they're both increasing from one to three. Now, we're going to need to have an I loop or a variable counting for each block. So it's going to be our move block is going to change each time, and we need a separate one for our drop block. The first time I did this, I wondered, could I put them both in the same? But that doesn't quite work because they each need to be counting and changing on their own. So let's try it. There we go. So, and if you watch the blocks, you'll see. So it's first we deal with the move, then we deal with the drop. And even though they're using the same counting system, they need to be separate. I know because I've put them together and they didn't work.